assalamu alaikum what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we are gonna see how we can get a widget's size as well as its position okay so as you can see i have created a stateful widget with the my app class and uh, in the scaffolds body i have uh, a container with margin on top 70 and in the child i have a function of load widgets with two parameters one is the, is the context and second one is the text style that i defined above okay so in the function i am uh, returning a padding with its child of card with elevation 5 and in the child i am returning a list style with leading title and subtitle respectively okay so let's uh, run this code first and then we'll continue on with the work Okay, so after our code gets executed, it will look something like this. Okay, so to calculate widget's position and size, we must have a global key. And you guys must know that every widget in function has a property of key, which requires a global key. So to calculate this, uh, this returning widget, that is the padding complete padding with its child and uh, so on you must require a global key so I will define the global key here before the build method global key and I will set this key in the padding there is a key property and I will set this global key here okay so one thing to remember guys here is the key is unique for every widget means I cannot use this global key on another function neither I can use this function twice because it will give me the er error of uh, duplication of, of the key okay guys so I have used this stateful widget the reason for that is I have to use the init state and I have also to use the set state method which I cannot get in the stateless class okay so first I will initialize the init state and I will create another method in which we will calculate the size and, and position so calculate size and position so to calculate the size we must have this global keys current context and we have to find the render object first so for that I will create another two object one is size and the other is position for the position we will use offset okay so for finding the rendering object final render box and in this render box I have to use this global keys current context and in this current context I will use find render object okay so this method find render object it is responsible for rendering of widgets and it also handles the size of uh, size of the layout and it has a complete configuration and we will calculate our size and offset with this render box object so to calculate the position first I will set this offset to render box dot local to global which requires offset so we will set this offset to zero here this function local to global it just converts the local coordinates to your global coordinates means that the global coordinates are the points of your top left corner of your emulator's screen and the local coordinates are this points of your rend rendering widgets top local 
corner okay so for the size I will use the size equals this render box dot size and I will set this function inside the init state okay so to execute this these two methods and to return its value it won't work un unless we update its state right now so I will just cut this code and I will paste it in the set state so now it will work fine okay so here comes the most important part guys when this init state gets executed it will calculate the size and offset of the widgets that we defined above in a function it will give us an error the reason for that is this init state executes before the build method and we have placed this function inside the init state which calculates the position and size of widgets that are not been rendered yet so how will this function get executed how will we how will it it will return us the size and widgets when there is no rendering of of our widgets that that we need the size and position of so to fix this error we have to use a post callback framework which gets executed a single time after this build method gets executed so what it will do is when this build method gets executed our widgets have been rendered and this post callback framework will execute a single time and we will pass this function onto that post callback framework so it will work fine okay so to initialize the post callback framework I will use the widget widgets binding dot instance dot add post frame callback and in this callback I will return this function and uh, let's define a bool variable is callback executed and set this to false and I will set this bool variable to true once we get our size and position now it's time to restart the app okay so the size the height that we got is 86 and width is 411.43 and position the x coordinate is 86 and y coordinate is 86 this means that that the rendering widget is taking the whole screen okay so in this video we saw how can we calculate a widgets size and position so let's say I want to calculate for this list style so let's cut this statement and uh, in the list style I will paste it here okay so let's restart so yes it is working fine height is 78 width is 399.43 position is 78 and x coordinate is 78 and y is 78 too okay so it is working fine so that's all from this video guys i hope you like it please like this video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and for more videos stay tuned Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.